Hey folks, and welcome to the final part of the Ape Escape 2 playthrough. I know you folks are probably hyped, as am I, but you probably can't tell by how the way I sound. But yeah, this is the final part of the Ape Escape 2 playthrough, so let's go ahead and make that epic walk. And we're going straight back to the moon base. This is going to be a beef of a part because the monkey I have to capture, well, the couple of monkeys I have to capture, there are deep into the base and I decide not to cut it because I kind of need to fill in the part anyway so if I didn't cut it then this part will probably be about hmm maybe 10 minutes long or so so I didn't want it to be that short so you guys have a beefer of a part and let me just move my mic here because it's a little too close okay I do apologize for that but yes you guys are in for quite a beef for this part man we we made quite the journey through the Ape Escape 2 uh, playthrough haven't we folks uh, we went through a brief hiatus well I don't know if it was brief or not I think it was quite long but we've been through a hiatus from the man I don't even rem remember when this Ape Escape play I think it started in October and we're just now getting to the end game folks we're just oh I'm I'm a little bit relieved because you know I get to put a new playthrough on the channel when I eventually finish this. Still don't know what I want to play, folks. Um, it'll probably be you know just a few videos in between until I decide on what I want to play next. Um, I got it down to probably a Mario or Sonic game. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's just whatever's you know easier to do. Got to get my bearings back. Got to start doing some practices on stuff. And, you know, we just moving this channel along, folks. Just because this playthrough ends don't mean, you know, it's the end of the channel. That would be ridiculous, of course. But, nope, it's just the start of something new, folks. And, you know, this is one of the channel's earlier playthroughs. And, once again, I do want to thank you for joining me. Also, in this part, we'll be able to, you know, since it's the final part, we'll be able to, you know, finally you know face the cause of this and we'll be able to finally you know you'll be able to finally hear my thoughts on what I think about this game even though you guys probably got a clear you know think of uh, clear synopsis of what I'm gonna say anyway since I kinda been saying it throughout the whole you know playthrough but I'm just gonna get just a teeny 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 bit you know a teeny bit more detailed into what I want to do so um, not what I want to do but what I want to say it's just a little more information than what you guys already know so you know be prepared to hear that plus there's a little surprise at the end so you guys might want to stay tuned you know just because you guys might get some uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a shock fact um, it's kind of a shock factor if you haven't you know seen a uh, if this is your first time seeing gameplay footage of Ape Escape 2 so anyway yeah this I'm surprised I missed this monkey out of all out of all of them but you know what you get the uh and he is really annoying by the way but you know what is that's just that super scope in the man or whatnot I am having a really tough time catching this thing <laughs> it though it looked like I, I seemed like I wanted to quit at this point no I was just checking my gadgets um basically when we get to Ape Escape 3, that kind of selecting your gadget thing is just, it'll be a thing of a pass. You'll, you'll see eventually when I get to, jeez, this, ah, oh, you lost your jet, Pat, let me catch you. I got a game to finish here, jeez. But, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, how are you folks doing this fabulous day, or night, if you're watching at night, um, you know, because jobs and whatnot, if you work in the, you know, day shift night shift you know <laughs> mega monkey yeah he was mega all right but anyway yeah if you're watching that kind of uh not watch it if you're working that kind of shift and you're joining me uh I do welcome you and if this is your first time watching this part you know instead of watching all the other parts what are you waiting for go back to part one for you could be properly introduced and if you guys want to reach me on my social media, the link will be in the description below. So we're finally just ending this and doing this. So, yeah. 
Oh man, 66, six, 666 coins. That is not good. Let's see if we can change that. Uh, superstitious? Yeah, a little bit. I just don't like that number at all, folks. It's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just associated with evil, I guess. I never did like that number, regardless. But, yeah, the, the magic punch is just a great item to have during this part because it's just wrecking shop and making things a whole lot easier, folks. I am just really just kind of, it's already been about five, six minutes or so, and I'm already just wrecking shop, folks. It's just that mag magic punch is just making things all the more sweeter, folks. It really is. And make sure you got the sky flyer on deck too, and this useless water gun. Uh, thank God they don't bring this uh, gadget back. It, like I stated before, it's really just pointless, and you know it's not really needed. And so is like 30% of the other gadgets throughout the Ape Escape series, you know. But you know that's just me. You'll hear all my opinions about it quite later. I'm pretty sure of it. But yep. That's how it goes, folks. You'll pretty much just hear my opinions and whatnot throughout, you know, later game. Just to see, just to see how I feel about stuff, you know. But anyway, we're going through this little madness section here, which I really hate. I've, you guys have heard, you know, my uh, appointments, uh, you know, my opinions about appointments. <laughs> my opinions about the magnet item and how I don't find it appealing and whatnot so I'm not gonna say anything else about that so anyway just to go on a tangent just to, you know keep you guys active on what you're watching you know as you're watching the playthrough ah oh, this room again once again uh, so I've been to the uh, at the time of this recording I've been to the you know how I'll tell you the adventures of the flea market and whatnot Hey, I'm not ashamed to go to a flea market. You find some retro games there. Depending on, you know, this flea market I went to is a indoor flea market. So it's not an outdoor, it's an indoor. And this, there's a little vendor I go to that sells uh, fantastic games. You know, old school games, uh, new school games, you know, old school such as Atari. I saw, I saw... Yesterday I saw an Atari, folks. That's before my time. So I saw an Atari. I saw it in action. Um, some guy in his like forties was playing an Atari. It looked like he was in his forties. He was playing an Atari. Uh, they had Sega Genesis, and I didn't see a Sega Saturn to my dismay. But you know they had like Super Nintendos and whatnot. Basically, I was going there because I didn't have a need. For my Xbox anymore because the Xbox I had it wasn't working as it should and also I forgot how slow the Xbox actually was so I just got that uh, I was able to trade that console in you know get a few bucks out of that and I was gonna um, get my Tekken 4 disc clean but I totally forgot about it because I was in a rush to get to day uh, Daytona that's where it's, it's uh, located at, folks, in case you folks didn't know. I live in the wondrous state of Florida. But anyway, yeah, I had to get to the uh, the Daytona in time. So, you know, for me, rushing, getting out of my house and whatnot just to get there, it was just I completely was oblivious to it. So, anyway, regardless, I just noticed that my computer, my speakers on my computer were on mute. So hopefully that doesn't, you know, mess up the audio of the playthrough. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. If so, then I'll probably have to restart or whatnot, but I don't think it will. So I'm going to just keep going anyway, like, you know, I didn't uh, notice at all. So anyway, yeah, that was my adventures of the flea market. Um, they saw some... I had went with uh, one of my friends, and he had got his... Uh, he, the, sp the storage space on the PS4 were, you know, piss poor at the beginning. These games are sa saving, like, you can have a 500 gigabyte PS4, which I think is the default. And the games are, like, 35 gigabytes. And that thing's going to fill up pretty fast. So, what he did was got a, um, 
a two terabyte hard drive you know he replaced it and all the people at the shop did it for him so you know we spent about pretty much two hours just you know hanging around at the uh the pretty much the vendor we was at i didn't mind because it gave me an opportunity to look at some games and get some thoughts at you know future playthroughs where i might do um, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't find the game that I was initially looking for. It was kind of a disappointment, but, you know, and it was also a disappointment that they didn't have the, um, they didn't have that many fighting games this turn around. Um, it was basically, it was more fighting games that you guys have, that I pretty much already have put on this channel, you know, so, it wasn't really much I can go on. The first Budokai Tenkaichi was there, but, you know, I didn't want to get that because you know it was the first um, of the series and in my opinion it wasn't that good to me so you know I didn't grab it so you know they had um, their their PS4 section is pretty much taken over uh, at the time of this recording I don't have one yet um, basically because the games that they have on there are pretty shitty in my opinion right now um, when they get some more fighting games, when some more fighting games come out, such as Injustice 2 and, you know, Tekken 7 and all that goodness that's supposed to be coming out this year, then I'll get into investing for a PS4. But until then, nope, not interested. I know what you folks are thinking, and this is the last monkey, we could go capture Spectre. Yes, but I'm going to continue. I know what you folks are thinking, but, you know, you know, why you don't have a PS4 or an Xbox One? That name still bothers me. But, yep, I, I just don't not right now because the games aren't good, in my opinion. So, when they come out with some goodness for it, I'll invest in getting it then. So, Spectre, we caught the last monkey. So, Spectre is, you know, we're able to face Spectre for the final showdown. So, let's go ahead and get it. They're telling us, you know, they they found um, Spectre. And she, tell me, I just noticed that she says she'll pound him if he lose or something like that which this kid probably wouldn't mind i don't know uh but anyway yeah we're able to go ahead and fight specter for the final time so let's go ahead and get into it and he has his own special little uh icon down there but yeah this is the final countdown the final showdown if you want to say the <laughs> final countdown but yeah this is it folks this is the final bout with specter so let's go ahead no more no more words are really needed but they're gonna talk anyway so yeah nothing else is really needed you know we stop your plan once again we're gonna uh we're just gonna kick your ass specter you deserve it for all the mayhem you've been causing this kid uh aka ash ketchum so basically during this fight i'm just gonna his patterns are really really predictable so i'll probably be just explaining the patterns and whatnot and what you can do to avoid but in actuality folks this what this fight was really tough to me and i haven't done it in a while because i didn't practice um i didn't do a, pra a practice playthrough of this so you know this fight is gonna seem really sloppy which in your opinion it probably is but you know i think i did a great job i didn't need to edit this fight or anything i just did it in one shot so you know i'm really proud of myself for that so as soon as these folks you know stop talking and pretty much just exchanging insults and whatnot i can go ahead and we can go ahead and get this fight pretty much started so yeah that how did that get over uh how did that get over the esrb i don't know but yeah um specter is kind of predictable you know he'll do an attack then you know for the first phase of this fight i want to say is pretty much just getting rid of specter's chair <laughs> what i want to say it's just getting rid of specter well he's going to be in his chair pretty much the whole thing but just weakening him and this attack he always do uh does it every now and then just jump when the time's appropriate and don't fail like that but yeah it's really easy to avoid and i am just screwing up here but uh, later on during the fight you'll see that i pretty much get the hang of it but yeah i am nervous as one nervous person could be but yeah i call these the reins of power because basically that's what it is but just jump around move around folks he'll do it about five six times and yeah just move around just keep moving pretty much yeah don't stay in one spot too long because eventually you're gonna fail so 
you know, he'll um, do that about five, six times, then sit in his chair and be real cocky like. And then he'll just run around and make sure you got your uh, your super hoop equipped because if you don't, you're you're not gonna catch him and you're just wasting your time. So make sure you have that equipped and you'll be fine throughout the whole fight. Make sure you have the um, if you don't think you're confident enough to uh, go through these rings, then make sure you have your sky flyer equipped because more than likely that'll help you out so make sure you have that equipped and you'll be okay too so as long as you got these gadgets right here that's equipped you'll be fine because um i remember during the original ape escape fight you had to have the um the the slain back shooter equipped because you know you couldn't he was at a distance that you couldn't hit him from so you had to make sure that you had that equipped as well which was really kind of stupid they tried to make that i they they really tried to make that item important folks uh that that just wasn't really doing it for me so he was trying he was pretty much uh specter there for a second just he was pretty much just being a little um being a little cocky but you know how specter is he's specter's that weird kind of evil i want to say he really is He's like, it seems like all his plans and whatnot, I believe this item right here produces cookies for you if you need it. Uh, I think it'll come out in once every blue moon. So here is pretty much the second phase of the fight right here. He's just, he's getting out of that chair and he's pretty much just taking the fight to you. So pretty much just, uh, you can't attack him how he is right now because he has that shield up. So it's obvious. Just have your, um your super hoop around uh and you'll be fine you'll be able to dodge whatever he throws at you so you know he'll get out of that chair once in a while and do an attack like that because he's gonna do that way to you know more often than not so just be prepared for that just stay as long as you stay active during this boss fight you'll be okay i mean i tried to even hit him while he was in the chair because i was kind of getting impatient on what i was doing so <laughs> Because in my mind, during this fight, I'm pretty sure I was like, let's just end this. Yeah, let's just end this fight once and for all. But basically, yeah, it was kind of weird how um, Spectre just charged at me. Because I wasn't really expecting that. And whoa, whoa, Pippachi with the save once again. Whoa, he saved my butt right there, folks. Because, ah. Oh. Spectre knocked me out of the ring. <laughs> and Pippachi with the save once again. So don't doubt the power of Pippachi, folks. He he is really a he is really a help during this uh fight, if they not. Uh remember, he can revive you. So don't don't count him out. Just said if anything, Pippachi's the man, you know. Well, Mikey or Baby Mikey, whatever you want to call him. Pippachi's awesome, okay? So, basically, when Spectre does that little Spear Dome attack, like explosion, um, nine times out of ten, that's probably going to produce a cookie for you. So, if you're on your last cookie, then, you know, you can kind of count on that attack. But if you also get hit by, it's going to take that cookie away. So, you know, you just be smart and you'll be okay. As I'm barely surviving this fight, because... During this whole thing, I was like, I did not want to go through all that crap again because this is quite a this is quite a fight, folks. As though it's just exciting, quote unquote, as I'm making it sound. It really is just fun to play for yourself, folks. So, but anyway, yeah, Ape, um, Ape Escape. Spectre is really just he. Uh, see, nine times out of ten, and produce a cookie, but. Yeah, this fight is pretty much coming close to an end, folks. Spectre hasn't gotten back in that chair, not even once. So he's just said, you know, just bump it. I'm going to take the fight to you, son. But anyway, yeah, you got this Spectre Shadow Clone Jutsu or whatever you want to uh, call it. Um, I don't have a mindful strategy for that, folks. Just, you know, you might get lucky and hit the right one. But I haven't so far, and I've been playing this game for about 10 years or so. I don't remember when this game came out. I think it was 2006. Hold on, just give me a second here. If all things fails, just uh, just Google it. And my phone's not working. Hmm. No. F okay. 
so I don't have a connection right now on my phone which is fantastic but yeah anyway that's it for Spectre so wham the final capture moment Spectre is finally caught we got him so yeah celebrations are indeed in order Spectre is captured and that's the end of the game folks so we get this nice little beautiful cutscene here and while this cutscene is playing I'm going to look up the date for spec uh, not Spectre but the Ape Escape 2 release date just give me a moment here while Spike talks his okay so the initial release date was 2002 July 18 2002 I think that was the I think that was the Japanese date uh, let me see here trust the old Wikipedia let's see yes that was the Japanese date so okay they got it on July 18th 2002 we didn't get in until June 30th 2003 so and I didn't get it for myself to about 2005 2006 around that time but yeah so I've been playing this game for about 10 11 years folks so you know I throughout my whole fight with that Spectre, I, I don't think I ever been able to hit him you know during that span uh, span so but yeah folks this is pretty much it's the end of the game folks the credits are rolling um, basically when you beat the game the first time the credits roll you know so I just decided what I should have did uh, during the first uh, Ape Escape is cutting the first credits out but I didn't want to because that music was fantastic 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 music that it was and I didn't want to cut from that beautiful beautiful music as I was talking over anyway so anyway it's time for my final thoughts of the game okay so basically Ape Escape 2 is pretty much an enjoyable game to an extent some parts are annoying such as you know the monkey retaliation you know that's been cranked up to about I don't know 11 it can be really frustrating to catch certain monkeys at some parts uh, the L2 scope wasn't really necessary you know we could really do without that it should have been like the original you know this game it's good but it's not up there with the other it just felt to me it just felt off for some reason I guess because of the main protagonist or whatnot being changed uh, it just kind of took that uh, feeling away that uh, familiar feeling away but you know what if you can look past that um, the gameplay the speed it's been cranked up it seems a little slower than in usual but you know that's just Nick picks and whatnot but yeah this um, besides some of the enemies you know being annoying capturing some of the monkeys can be annoying especially when they're spinning and dodging out of the way but you know otherwise than that the game's pretty good out of all my ape escapes um, you know the main three two is my least favorite just because of those reasons um, you know it's still up there as far as being a good game uh, just the first one does it better uh, the music is not as good folks uh, the music to, in my opinion it, it just doesn't do it it doesn't it doesn't want it, it doesn't put me in the mood to capture these uh, ape, uh, these apes it, it doesn't it doesn't put me you know because the first one had that music that just really whoever the composer was uh, was for the first one fantastic you did a fantastic job anyway the gadgets have been just cranked up to ridiculousness uh although you know new gadgets are obviously welcome you know the better the gadgets so whatnot but these gadgets here they were not fantastic at all um the magnet the electromagnet was really annoying the water gun annoying you know the banana the boomerang banana although you could use it as a weapon it was kind of just annoying as well just you know i know they tried new gadgets to bring on the, the different gameplay style or try to change the gameplay but it just wasn't really doing it for me that's just me folks um if you find this game to be fantastic that's just your opinion is what matters the most i'm just stating mine you know no opinion is correct 
that's why they give reviews out you know it's just that person's opinion of the game so if a, one person tell you hey don't buy this game this game is horrible it's crap and another person could tell you hey don't listen to what they say this game is fantastic go ahead and spend your hard-earned money on this fantastic game I can't speak for them it's just for your own entertainment what you find to be fantastic or not to me this game is good but it could have been better but I still recommend it to you you know just to give it a try for yourself and see if you like it honestly I like it but it's not my favorite of the Ape Escape I, I like it though so you know I still have it and I still go back and play it from time to time it's just a good game so yeah basically that's the end of Ape Escape folks and I do hope you had a fantastic time here with me as we what what what's this secret information whole l1 and select new game holy crap folks guess who's back spike is back folks Woo! spike is back welcome back buddy welcome back